What's going on guys, Sevglake Glade here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we are going to be climbing the online VGC 2021 ladder and today we're going to be using a rain team. Now what you're going to notice is this team does not feature any of the new Pokemon from the DLC and if you're a long and if you've been around the channel for a while you know that I've used this team previously in many videos and I actually used this team to win a pretty big tournament and uh, I didn't really feel like uh, putting a new team together for an, uh, a video so I decided why not recycle an old team and see if it's still viable in today's current metagame this team was viable in series 5 and we're gonna see if it's currently viable in series 7 but before we get into the video uh, smash the like button down below and please subscribe for more future content but let's get right into the video. So today we're going to be using a rain team. So we're going to be using a Kindred team with um, Assault Vest Magnezone. So we're using Assault Vest Magnezone, Crit Kiss, uh, Life Orb Kindra, Mago Berry, Rillaboom with Taunt. So that's kind of Pog, Incineroar, and Palper. So we're gonna see, we're gonna, we're gonna give this a go. We are currently, I think, currently we are, um, okay, you can't see it on screen, but we are, uh, 1380 on ladder so uh, we're, gonna, we're, we're just gonna see how this goes we are going to see how this goes I am I don't know I don't know how this is gonna go but what what we see is my opponent has the has the Dragonite the Reggie Lucky the Rillaboom the uh, Rotom and the Milotic and the Lander so honestly a very interesting team for my opponent uh, Dragonite is not something you see a lot I'm actually gonna write this down uh, so we see, hold on, let's take a rip a page out, this is going to sound really loud, that sounded really loud I'm sure, uh, but we're going to rip a page out and we're going to see what we can get done here, I'm going to take some notes, so we see the Dragonite, probably going to be the weakest policy mon here, we see the Reggie Lucky, could be dual screens from this team, that uh, could be just hyper offensive, we see the Rillaboom here, uh, we see the Rotom, and we see the Milo and Lando, um, now here's the thing, uh, Kendra looks actually pretty good here like what does my opponent do with uh, against kindra like let's say i lead pelipper pelipper kindra i think that's a really good lead i don't want to bring real boom in this match because real boom is honestly only good good against my Lotic, right well while magnezone can at least deal actually magnezone might not even be that good here so we kind of lose the lander so we honestly need toki kiss in the back just to just try to deal with that lander is now that's the question of what are what are we weak to well we don't have an electric switch in for one we don't at all, and you could say Rillaboom could be our electric, uh, our electric mon, but, you know, when they have a Landorus there, when they have a Rotom Heat, it's, it's really hard to make that happen, but honestly, I think Rillaboom might be our best, uh, shot, because I just don't, I just don't like having Magnezone, especially because he has Rillaboom that can go for the high horsepower, um, and mind you guys, if we don't do well in today's episode, this team is not up to date, so we're gonna see what happens. I, I think I am going to go Rillaboom, um, just because it gives me the most options. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. He's gonna lead Reggie Lackey Dragonite. Um, he is multi-scale on Dragonite, which is a bit annoying for me. Uh, he could go for like a max warm wind here or go for, um, okay, I, I, I forget what that's called. He could go for a max warm wind or, or something, right? Um, yeah, I forget what that's called. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I literally just forgot what it was called. Um, what I can do is I can at least I could try to set a tailwind here, but I think it's gonna be relatively useless We want us to be the Dragonite um, Hmm, I could scald the Dragonite try to get a burn off and of max guard, which is what I'm going to do um, We're gonna see what happens though. It's gonna go my life So that was like the worst case scenario and he gets a lot of light screen So I think I have to go real bone. I think I have to guys with the Reggie lucky now there there is no other play There is no other play That was a really bad turn for me uh, I thought he was going to Dynamax his Dragonite there, but he does have the Milotic here. So at least we know he has the Dragonite, Reggie Lucky, and the Milotic. So it might mean he has Rillaboom in the back, not exactly so sure. So we saw the Dragonite, we saw the Reggie Lucky, we saw the Milo. And the nice thing here is that if he, uh, we're going to be faster with Kindred. No, we're not. Uh, okay, so we're not going to be faster with Kindred. Correction. Uh, we could actually go for a Wormwind into the Reggie Lucky. Um just because he might he might go for the volt switch here um uh, could maybe back into the dragonite i don't really know um so what i'm going to do is i'll just warm wind no, no we can't warm wind because he has a room i have to geyser here even if he volt switches out into um he's just gonna thunderbolt which isn't gonna do a lot so we can get rid of the reggie like it is sash reggie like so that's unfortunate here 
Um, and he's just going to go for the Icy Wind, which isn't great here, um, of course, because I have a Rillaboom. But what I can do here is um, I can just Grassy Glide. Um, I can Grassy Glide the Melodic here, which is going to do some nice damage. And it can break Dragonite's uh, Sash anyways. And what I can do is... Um, hmm. I don't know what I can do here. Because he comes with Dragonite, and Dragonite kind of screws our team over. But... Um, he is burned because uh, we burned. I think a grassy guy should be able to pick up the KO. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just going to go for a max uh, a max airstream into the Reggie Lucky. I think he's gonna go lander. So that was pretty good for us because we get a we get a max airstream off. Glide isn't not gonna KO though, which isn't really unfortunate for us. But we do get a max airstream off. So I would I I would have liked to guys it there. I would and. So we see that it's AV Landorus, which isn't great for us. And how much did Grassy Glide do? I did 50, 54%. So um, if this Melodic has Protect, he'll go for it. But what I can do now is I can just Grassy Glide and I can just Hydro Pump the Landorus. Because um, we're going to be doing damage either way. Uh, if he's Max Beam Landorus, that is a bit of an issue for me. Um, he probably is going to go for an, something like an Airstream into the Railboom. Do you think? Do you think he is? I think he might be. Do you think I had to protect here? I think I might have to protect and give a Hydro Pump to the Landers. So he's going to Dynamax. We'll see if he goes for the Clay or Airstream. He's going to protect. So this is good. Uh, what is he going to do? He's going to go. He's going to Flutter by here. That's really good for us. I mean, he, he lowers our special attack, but like at the same time, we get a big Hydro Pump off. Like big Hydro Energy. Um, And we get to go for a Glide here. And I don't think he's going to want to take the Glide. I'm going to be 100% honest. I really don't think he is. Um, especially because he knows my lag is pretty good here. So what I'm going to do to cover both options. I'm just going to go Togekiss. And I'm going to go Pelipper. And we're going to see what he goes for. Um, just because like I need... I, I don't want... Hold on. That's actually really bad. I need to go Togekiss here. I'm going to go Togekiss. So I'm going to protect here. He's going to switch out to Regilecki. This is fine for the most part. He's going to go Dragonite here. Okay. Uh, this isn't great here, but um, at the very least, uh, this isn't the worst case scenario because we did waste his Dynamax here. Okay, so what can we do here? He's probably just going to go for a Thunderbolt into the Tokikiss here. Um, I'm going to protect, and we kind of, we might need uh, Kingdra for late game, although he is faster at this point. So honestly, just going for a Draco Meteor into the Reggie Lucky might be the play, just to try to get it out of the way. Because he's just going to go for the Thunderbolt. Dual Wing Beat, which is fine. Uh, we do connect the Draco Meteor. We do KO the Regilecki. So actually, we remove the biggest threat. We remove the biggest threat to uh, Kingdra right now. So what I can do is I can D Gleam, and I I'm gonna go Pelipper here. The reason why I want to go Pelipper is because it well it may seem like my Lotic while going hard Rillaboom is the good play. If he goes for the Dual Wing Beat straight into the Rillaboom, then it could be really bad for us. So I'm gonna go hard Pelipper here. And he might be policy Dragonite, so that is an issue I have to think about. So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for an air slash, and I'm just gonna go Pelper here. I really don't want to proc policy just yet, especially since we don't have speed control. He's just gonna protect Dragonite, so I'm actually okay with this. And we get a Craig, can we get a flinch here? Hey, let's go, let's go. That's Poggers. So now we can go for an air slash here. I don't want to proc a policy, and um, besides we have a potential to crit. And we know his Dragonite is, I don't know, is his Dragonite fast? I don't really know. Um, but I feel like you should have some speed on Dragonite. And now uh, he doesn't have a switch into Hurricane. Uh, he can't take a Scald either. So at the very least, I could Scald the Melodic. Is there no Scalds in KO Melodic and the covers of the Landers? No, 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 but Landers is at 22%, so Hurricane is just fine here. He's going to protect Melodic. Uh, he's going to go for the Dragon Claw, which does a lot of damage, admittedly. Like, what? That does... A lot of damage. Dragonite does move first though, which is is a little concerning. Um, a lot of gold died to the burn here, so I can't. I guess I can go for a double protect, but then he brings in his landers, and that that could be a bit of an issue. Besides, I do want one mon to go down, so I'll just go for a D gleam here. I'll just hurricane because then we then we can get in, then we can get in Kingdra. It doesn't really matter. He's gonna dual lane beat, but that's relatively weak, right? So now we get a hurricane off. Boom, big damage. Now we get a D gleam off and get that nice double KO. All right, he's going to bring his Landers here. And what, what does he do? What does Landers do here? I, I don't know, man. A Scarf Oxide? I, I'm not about that. D-Gleam and Protect. I want to preserve the 4-0. <laughs> Please. 
Please live. Hey, we preserved the 4-0. We preserved the 4-0. That's what we like to see. And that, ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> Okay, a very interesting. Might get two, might get three games in here. I don't really know, but that was quite the first game. If you like this first game, if you like to see that Rain Team 4 owing my opponent using Reggie Lackey, smash that like button down below, because boys, this is only something you will see on the Everglade Galay channel. I can guarantee it. All right, let's get another game in. Don't mind these ads. I don't really know what these ads are. Um, but here we go. We got Groovy, Gro Groovy Doovy. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's actually got a really cool team. You see Reggie Gigas without Weezing, which is pretty interesting to see. But we still have Latios, or Latios, excuse me. The Mamo, the Tana, the Volk, the uh, Gigas, and we see the Reggie Lackey. Now, honestly, this is going to be a tough matchup. It looks like it honestly could be a Magma Zone matchup because my opponent... Uh, it could be a Magnezone matchup, but honestly, I really want it to be a Magnezone matchup because I don't know how my opponent deals with it. Although he does have Max Quake, uh, with the, uh, with the Regigigas, so that could be very annoying. I don't really see a downside to leading Kingdra Tokikus. Um, I, mm, this is really tough because I can see, I can see myself bringing every Pokemon here. I can see myself bringing every single Pokemon. But if we lead Rain, what's my opponent gonna bring? My opponent's probably gonna expect Rain. He's gonna lead like Cartana or something. Okay. So what do I wanna lead? I could lead Magnezone, Togekiss at the very least and try to beat out the Tana. Uh, having Incident in the back could be good to kind of stall out some of his uh, shenanigans, but maybe what if we just don't bring Rain in this matchup because he expects it? I'm gonna bring Rubble Mint, so we're gonna see how this goes. I'm not gonna bring Rain in this matchup. He's gonna bring Volk and Latios, okay. So we're going to link Magnezone and Tokikiss, right? Turn one, I'm going to Dynamax, Max Lightning, the Volcarona, and D-Gleam. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what we can get done. Hopefully he doesn't go for Struggle Bug. He's got a Simple Beam. He's going to go for the Quiver Dance. Okay. I get I get a D-Gleam off. We get, that, we get those nice crits. I get a Max Lightning off. Does some big damage. Absolutely massive damage. I get to go for the simple beam is kind of cool. I like that. Oh, simple beam to slow start. Okay, I like that. I'm going to max lightning the Volcarona and I'm just going to go for the follow me here. We kind of have to. Like, hopefully it's not heat wave. Well, hey, we take that. Hey, we take that. Well, sometimes you got to get lucky in order to succeed. I, I don't know what else to say. You know, when you're facing strategies like Simple Beam there, like, sometimes you just gotta get lucky. Reggie Lucky? I think not. Ooh. Boys, I think not. I think not. Uh, Fake Out? I could Fake Out you. I really just want to Lariat, though. Like, I honestly just want to Lariat that. Uh, but I know it's not exactly the play, but I could... Like, Latios doesn't do anything to me. What if I just Fake Out Steel Spike? Might... Actually, might be... That is the play. That's the play, 100%. Because Steel Spike will still KO. Dragon Mirror is going to do uh, big damage, but, like, not that much. And the fact that Latias is... Like, we should be able to KO here. Yeah. So, like, the fact that Latias is sitting in at minus 2 is actually pretty good. And he has Tana in back. So, uh... Tell me how Tana beats this board. Tell me. Because I would... I would love to know. I would love to know how Tana beats this board. Because Tana does not... You know, like, Secret Sword is going to ignore those uh, boosts. But, uh... We got a real boom. We got a whole real boom here. Oh, is, is he going to Steel Spike or is he going to Knuckle? Hmm, that's a bit problematic. But you know what? You know what? Magnezone's here. Magnezone's here, right? Magnezone's here, right? And we just body press and... Yeah, like, he could go for Knuckle here, right? But he, he probably wants to kill the real boom. Uh, I'm going to protect because then we can always Grassy Glide later. Oh my god, he, he actually targeted down my Magnezone. Damn, dude, I'm so trash at this game. Alright, so we fucking lose now. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's annoying. Oh, uh, no. We lost. Yo. Yo, I'm so dog crap. I'm so dog shit, dude. I should have. Aw, oh, fudge, dude. That's not good. That's not gamer. I should have. I should have. I should have known. I should have switched out for Ensign. And went for the body press again. Yeah, that's not gamer. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to hold the L there. But that—that that was my fault. That was—that was not the team's fault. That was my fault. So uh, you can only blame bad players, not bad teams. All right, 
Let's see how my opponent. Like, all right, we, we got we gotta have some redemption here. That was trash, bro. I'm mad at myself for that. We gotta have some redemption, bro. Redemption is here. Look at my opponent's team and look at Magnezone, dude. Oh, okay, Magnezone isn't great, but look at in. Mm, mm, oh, I, 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 I don't really know what I want to do here. Like, I can't lead. I want to leave Real Boom instant. I actually think that's probably the best play, but then I'm weak too. Or Shifu, but he's not gonna lead or Shifu. He's gonna expect rain, right? And rain isn't really good here in this matchup because he is Yeah, last year. It's just I, I don't know if I can lead it. I think I gotta bring these four. Instant Rillabo. I had to try to deny Trick Room. And like maybe go for the go for the taunts into the Dust Cops. Like render render the Dust Cops useless. That is That's my one plan. That's my one play. He's gonna go Raichu, he's gonna go Dust Cops. Alright, look. Um, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna low riot and we're going to taunt. Uh, no, no, no. We should fake out, but if we fake out and Raichu goes to the fake onto real boom, that's pretty bad. I just need to low riot and I need to taunt and hope that he doesn't fake out real boom because he has a faster fake out here, so that, that's kind of annoying for me. But I need to go for taunt into clops. Like, there is no other play, and like, Lariah damage here is pretty good. And then maybe try to block, uh... Oh, wait, what? That was such a wacky-ass play, dude. I want you to know that was the wackiest play I've ever seen in my goddamn life. What the fudge? That is such... You don't do that. You you honestly... And here's the thing. He's just gonna go for a Volt Switch into Instant, so what can I do? All right, I need to double the Yoshifu then. Like, I don't have another play. That's so wacky, man. I don't know what to say to that. Poison Jab, all right, we live that. Area Impulse, okay, fine. I'm not switching out. Please KO. Thank you. All right, get the freak out of here. What the heck was that? What was that turn one? Play? Tell me that turn one play was not weird. Tell me that was not weird. Cause that totally was weird. No one ever does that. He's gonna bring in big boy glass here. Oh, okay. Uh, you definitely quake, right? So don't I just Dynamax Max Flare and go for that big boy glide? Or I knock off your policy. Yes. This is this is big brain plays. It's gonna volt switch. That's fine. What are you gonna volt switch onto your dust clops? Oh, go for it, Chief. Oh, go for it, please. Actually, if he kills real boom, that's pretty bad. Actually, no, that's not. Eh, that is kind of bad. I should have protected. Oh, he's AV. Okay. Oh, he knuckles. Your mistake, dude. That's that's your mistake. I mean, okay. Does he ally switch here though? Does Tonka before ally switch though? He, he, he can't max guard. So like the question, like here's the question. Does he have ally switch here? Uh, considering it's AV, he might because he's probably Nightshade, Trick Room, ally switch, Pain Split, I, I think, or something like that helping him. I don't really know. You think he goes for ally switch here? Ah, uh, dude, do I, do I have to make the go play? I mean, I still win this with Magnuson in the back. I think I'm going to flare and I'm going to knock off the Dust Cop. So, like, at least if I knock off it, it's going to deal a bunch of damage to it. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, we're, we're really bad at the game. Wow. This isn't even going to KO, is it? Are you freaking... Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to die to hell, though. It's going to die to hell. Okay. Actually, that worked out pretty well. That worked out pretty well. I'll take it. He has Raichu in the back, but we, we're on our last turn of Dynamax. Um, I gotta go Magnazone here. I gotta go Magnazone here. He's gonna go Raichu. What I can do here is I can go for a... Now, here's the question. Do I, um... He has Eerie Impulse on the Raichu, so I want as much damage as I can off on this Glass here, because he can Eerie Impulse. So I was like, I could max for the Raichu, but the fact that he's Eerie Impulse means that even if I switch Magnezone in, it probably couldn't KO Glass here. But what we can do is beta max Quaker and max Knuckle and just go max Flare the Glass here and go hard into the Toki case here. He can't fake out in Cinewar, by the way. And I think this is the best play that I have. He's just going to fake out. I'm assuming he's going to go for a Quake or a Knuckle here. Either which I would be okay with here. He's going to go for the Quake. Okay, so good play i uh that's a good player but what i can do here is um 
Hmm. Well, he can only really KO one, so I can just flash cannon and then I can air slash, or I could go for the body press. But doesn't Glacier already have good defense? And like even even this, it's it, it's a freaking magnezone. Like you're not, you can only KO one here. You know what I mean? You can only KO one. I'm gonna D gleam here. You can you can only KO one like this. Plus flash cannon should be able to KO. And there you go, boys. And I think that is gonna be victory right there. All right. I think that I think we got it. Uh, I'm not exactly so sure, but I can just body press this, and I can just go for the protect here and try to stall him out. Like he doesn't have a way to beat Magnezone here. Yeah, he doesn't have a way to beat Magnezone, so I can just body press it out. Oh my god, big bust in Magnezone right now. And there's a forfeit right then and there. So we went two and one in today's episode. So we had a sloppy, and uh, we had a sloppy um, we had a sloppy game too. But we showcased the power. Of this team the power of this team is that you can go the rain option this is why it will this will always be my favorite team that i have ever built in my opinion you can go that rain option if you want but bringing incineroar rillaboom tokikiss magzone is just such such a solid four and i think even today maybe it holds up i don't really know i didn't face i guess i wouldn't say i faced the strongest meta teams but uh we're now 1392, so uh, hey, that's that's pretty good. I went up a little bit in rating, but if you guys, this was this uh, video was just for fun, but it showcased how good this team actually still still can be. But if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button down below, and please subscribe for more future content. But anyways, guys, well I'm Evan Glade, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.